The camera harness is very versatile. You can tailor it to really suit the needs of your photography. For instance, if you would like to use um, a neck strap, you certainly can. Now I'm just gonna switch out to a camera that has both sections on it. So with a neck strap, you would clip into so the, the My Fave camera straps all quick release off, so you can easily add a neck strap when you want to. So now when you're taking your photography, you're on your neck strap, you're, you're taking lots of captures, but you're ready to be on the move, you can easily clip into the harness to take that weight off of your neck and totally give you a break and keep your camera secure, but it's also still readily available for quick captures along the way. Another way of modifying the camera harness is using a chest clip. So if you like to shoot with longer lenses or telephoto lenses, then you can add a chest clip to the camera harness. So with the chest clip, it's just got these snaps and they just snap over top of the elastic. And it allows you to have a camera with a longer lens. I have a lot of customers that use telephoto lenses with this system. And when you're using it with a telephoto lens, you need to use the extenders. And then you're gonna flip this upright. Now this lens is obviously not long enough. So we'll scoot the chest clip down to get the impression. And so it secures your lens upright and it keeps that weight central to your core, uh, which makes it more comfortable for carrying and for transporting. In this case, this is a 300 lens. So if you had a 200 lens, even with a 300, it's really great if you're cycling, uh, or if you're ATVing or rock climbers, I have a few rock climbing customers who are using lenses and now you can use the chest clip with the lens upright and it keeps it totally secure. If you're scrambling up a mountain, that lens not getting in the way, it's not getting banged, it's not getting bashed around. So that's another accessory that you can add to the camera harness. Now I have some customers that like to use mirrorless cameras. So with a mirrorless camera, the attachment points are a lot smaller. And so you need to either use, like in this instance, we're still able to use the slip rings that come with the camera harness. But these are called an inset camera strap mount adapter. And they can be used on the little triangular slip rings that often cameras come with. You can clip it directly into there. Or if your camera strap mounts are inset, like this one, you can actually loop the camera strap mount adapters directly into the camera strap mount. And then that is what's going to clip into your camera. With a smaller camera, you do need this extra little bit of room to get the camera to slide up and down the elastic. When a small camera is hooked into the harness close like this, it binds and it won't move up and down properly, but when you've got it with those little extenders, those inset camera strap mount extenders, which is perfect for this size, you can see the difference in the size of the camera. It's a lot lighter, it's not as heavy. And so uh, the inset camera strap mounts gives it that little bit of extra flexibility to move on the camera. For all my customers that like to carry their camera crossbody, you can still use the camera harness to give your neck a break. So with a crossbody strap, all you're doing is you're going to lift it up to clip it into the harness. You can still leave your crossbody strap on. It still stays as it should. You're still going to be able to take quick captures, but your neck gets a break. Even in a crossbody carry, your neck does get tired. Then, when you get to where you're going and you have a longer session planned, you can easily disconnect and go back to a crossbody camera.